So after someone's done a clinical assessment with us, um, if they've been accepted to the programme and we're, we're the right service for them, we'll hand them off to something called pre-support, where they'll do two to four sessions with one of our um, professionally trained advisors who will um, prep them for treatment, basically. Uh, what we call it is it, it's a holding space. So it's an area for them to be sat with, with one of our workers, talk about treatment, talk about what they're going through and, and, and be there with them emotionally. Um, and it's often really useful as an extension and also some help to bridge the gap because I think the concern is if someone gets into treatment and is put on a waiting list, they're then waiting for the situation to happen rather than getting active help. This bridges that gap and allows clients to have that active help while they're waiting for treatment. Then after they've completed their pre-support sessions, they go into our pre-support groups, um, which we run as well, which offers a different perspective where they're working with other clients going through something similar. So you get that one-to-one -one support, but then you also get the group work. So you kind of get the best of both worlds mixed together for the client. When we're assessing someone, we're not looking to shut anything down. We're looking at what's the best help for someone. Are we the right treatment for you? And if, if we feel that someone else is better, that's who we'll go for. So if, if we feel that someone's better suited elsewhere, we'll refer them to someone else. We don't just go, okay, we're not the right treatment provider, goodbye. We look at what's the best option going forward and make sure that that conversation's had rather than just shutting it down. So the goal is always, what's the best treatment path for the client, not what do we need?